This is rare footage of Bekele racing a 1500 meter that I found back in the archives from years ago. Bekele only ever raced the 1500 meter twice and during this race he was not the favourite at all. In fact, he was more of a long distance runner even back then. This particular race took place in 2007. He was up against some very fast runners, all of which are 1500 meter middle distance experts. So let's see, we can see here that Bekele has positioned himself in around 6th place, looking pretty decent, he's looking strong, he's in control, the pacer is going to take them through 300 meters in around about 40 seconds, or thereabouts, 39, Bekele went through in bang on 40 seconds, this is a decent pace. Don't forget guys, Bekele is not a middle distance runner, but he does have pretty decent speed, and back in 2007 he was in fantastic shape. This is a 53 second lap, that is a bit too fast, the pace has gone out too fast, I think he got a little excited, that is way, way too fast for the majority of these guys in this race, hence why the race is completely strung out. Bekele though has decided to go with this pace, oh my goodness me guys, he looks so majestic, he looks so powerful and so fast. The pacer right now is just making a huge run for home. I mean, the guy is literally going world record pace. He's actually under world record pace. It'll be interesting to see what the 800 meter split is as they come round with only 150 meters remaining until they get the 800 meter split. I'm going to say they'll probably run around low 150s, 154 to 155, as it looks to me like they perhaps have slowed down. Going through this, Bekele has now positioned himself in 4th place, 151, that is unbelievable. They've slowed quite a bit, but it's still very, very fast. This is something that I notice now is that the pacer has dropped out. He ran to 800 meters and that was it. His first lap was a bit too fast and his second lap was a bit too slow. Not great pacing in my opinion, but that's just my criticism. One thing that really surprised me during this race is the fact that Bekele had worked his way to third place in this race with only one lap remaining. He is not a sprint finisher, especially against these types of guys who are experts in sprint finishes and 1500 meters. So let's see just how he does up against the greatest 1500 meter runners in the world back in 2007. So right now, another athlete has dropped to the side. I'm not too sure if that was also a pacer. However, that would now make Bekele second place. He's now in second place. He's just run a 58.9 second lap, a lot slower. That first lap just destroyed all these guys. It was way too fast. The pacer did a very bad job over that first lap, but I think it was partly the rest of the runners who went too fast as well. Here we go, 200 meters remaining. Is Bekele going to kick on? Is he going to try and overtake this runner in the lead? I feel like Bekele has got a strong kick, but he's up against a middle distance expert who is definitely a lot stronger than he is. Here we go, 50 meters. He's trying everything he can to get back at the runner. It's not going to work though. He is just not fast enough and his legs are tying up. He comes through with a 332 unofficial. What a great time. Don't forget the world lead back then was 3.30, so Bekele only ran two seconds slower than the world leading time during that year, and that's all while training for 5 and 10Ks and doing very minimal speed work. It was rumoured that Bekele only did around about a month's worth of speed work to specifically train for this distance. Obviously Daniel Coleman is one of the most unbeatable Kenyan runners in history. He is so strong, so good at running and almost impossible to outkick. Coleman was also a top level distance runner. Not only was he good at 1500, but he was really good at things like the mile, 3k and the 1500 meters. So let's say that that was a fair race and although Bekele just didn't stand a chance over that last 100 meters, he still stuck it strong and he gave everything he possibly could. I think that if the pacer hadn't ruined their first lap, Bekele could have easily got well under 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I really strongly believe that. So I take a look at Bekele's IAAF profile for the 1500 meters and I couldn't believe it. 
He's only ever raced it twice. He raced it once in 2006, and then he raced it once in 2007, a year later. So the one we just watched was the 332. That's his personal record, his fastest ever 1500 meter of his career. And that was run at Shanghai in China, 2007. So I think that was a bit of a disappointing race in terms of pace and time, because it was more like a tactical race. Really, Bekele had a sub 330 in him easily, and in my opinion, he probably could have gone 328 or even 327 had he had a decent pacer and done a couple months more speed work, or specifically trained for the 1500 meter in one of the years or the seasons. So you can see he also raced the mile, he raced the mile once, but technically did a short track for the second time. Both of those were during 2016 at New York in the same event. They were also on the same day, which is rather confusing. I think the results glitched. It looks to me like it's actually just the same race, but they've just they've logged that as possibly not a legal performance. The thing I love about this uh, IAAF site is it gives so many details. It never used to be like this. The layout used to be completely different, and they updated it around... I think it was in the summer sometime because I've always used this site for like sourcing and criticism and commentary and uh, it used to be very more basic than this but I love their new layout it's so good I highly recommend you all go and look at it so this was his results for that year the race we just watched in 2007 he ran a lot of races and it wasn't just 1500 meters or short races it was actually the majority of longer distance races 10ks 5ks he had a 3k in 725 that's pretty damn fast he ran out in stockholm a month before he went to shanghai to do the 1500 meters so i just wanted to share that footage with you guys uh, if you enjoyed it comment down below if you don't enjoy old races then comment down below as well because i will listen to my subscribers but there's a lot of archive races that i have that i wanted to react to a lot of them are things like the best names in the world but no one's ever posted the races no one's ever shown these that you know it's all like from 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago even that no one really watched obviously the quality is not great i'm going to admit that but the cameras back then weren't amazing so uh, there's nothing we can do about that but it's still well worth watching these races i think because you know they deserve a lot of respect from their past career as well past career being before social media before high quality definition tv cameras and 4k filming etc please subscribe to my channel if you're new here as i upload all the latest running news drama and of course the latest races please leave a like on today's video for good luck in your training and yeah i'll catch you guys all in the next video